Hey guys, welcome to my video today. I'm going to be sharing with you guys our morning routine on a school morning. So as you can see, it is still dark outside. Um, I get up around, well my alarm goes off at 5.30, but I get up around 6. And the first thing I have to do is let Bagheera out to go potty. morning is the only time that he actually runs back inside because he knows he's about to get food. Normally we have to coax him back inside when you take him out, um, but I give him his food right away and it's still really quiet in the house. Everyone is still sleeping and I have to get the kids lunches ready. So he eats his breakfast while I make Jane and Jackson's lunch. Then around this time, Piper usually wakes up. She's always my first to wake up, even though she could sleep in if she wants because she does not go to school. But she usually wakes up, and then after I get the kids' lunches ready, I will sit on the couch with her, and Bagheera usually joins us. And this is when I have my prayer time. Um, sometimes I get my Bible out. I like to do this without kids and distractions, but... Um, I'd have to wake up a lot earlier to get that. So um, usually I just have Piper sit quietly with me while I do that. And then right after that, it is time for me to wake Jane up. She does have an alarm. Look how she was sleeping. Um, her alarm goes off around 6.30 and she'll usually hit snooze about once. And then I still have to go in and wake her up. But the alarm at least gives her a little warning that it's almost time to get up and I kind of sit with her while she gets dressed and then lately she's been wanting me to straighten her hair. Her hair is not curly but it is wavy so she likes to have it straightened and then once I'm done with her I go up and wake up Jackson and while I do this Jane makes her bed and kind of gets herself finished getting ready for school and I wake up Jackson. Jackson's usually awake because his alarm goes off at 6 45 and he's pretty good to kind of just stay awake and wait for me to come get him and he's really easy to get ready so he usually goes to the bathroom and brushes his teeth while I help to make his bed and then um, get him dressed and everything and while he finishes brushing his teeth I run downstairs and I usually make Piper's bed at this time she does know how to make her own bed but sometimes it's just easier for me to go in and make her bed and I'll get her clothes for the day and her therapy boots out and ready to go. I don't get her dressed or anything quite yet because it's usually a rush by now to get the other kids out of the door. So after I do that, I go ahead and start making breakfast. Breakfast is the only uh, meal, or one of the only meals. Sometimes I do this at lunch, but I give the kids a choice of what they want for breakfast. So most of the time I'm making three different things for breakfast, but that's okay. Um, so while I make breakfast, they're usually on their tablets or something, but I also have to do flashcards with Jackson in the mornings. And so I make them turn off that so that he can concentrate on his flashcards. Mm -hmm. 
Jackson had gotten toothpaste on his shirt, so he was changing his shirt and it took him a while to come down and he needed a little bit of help. And then after I get their breakfast, I usually get their masks ready. I let them pick out what mask they want to wear to school and also their snack. I used to, I used to just make their snack and they were just surprised, but lately they want to pick out their snack. So I let them pick out their snack and I put that together as well while they eat their breakfast. Right after we eat, it's a dash to get outside. We usually put our jackets on, put our shoes on, and I take the kids to school. I didn't want to film too much of them um, at their school, but I come straight home. Piper sometimes rides with me, but lately she's been wanting to stay home, and she lays with Bagheera on the couch and cuddles with him and watches her tablet. And you can see her clothes and her shoes, her little boots, ready to go there. Um, so we like to have slower mornings, but I had to get ready this morning to go to a doctor's appointment. So there's my before and after. Not too much. I didn't even put too much makeup on or anything. It was kind of going to be a lazy day. Um, I also have to take Bagheera out almost every hour because he is still potty training in the house. Um, if we don't take him out every hour, he will probably have an accident. So we're doing that throughout the day as well. Um, and this is... A little bit brighter outside it was a nice day and um, Bagheera is learning to kind of stay close by to us we have to bring the treats out and this is one of the things that he's learned at his training and Piper wanted to get the camera out and film as well so this was her little footage for the day next I make my coffee Sometimes I wait a little bit longer to make my coffee, but like I said, I had to go to a doctor's appointment. Um, on a normal day, I usually just hang out with Piper on the couch for a little bit and get some work done and drink my coffee then. But since I had to go, um, this morning was a little bit different. But I got Piper dressed and ready for the day and her therapy boots on. I try to get her boots on first thing in the morning so that she can wear them um, for a long period of time but she likes to take them off even if I put them on early. So um, I do a little bit of her feet stretching first and then we put her boots on. After I got back from my doctor's appointment, it was super duper quick. I came home and this is what we normally do right when I get home is just sit on the couch. Piper will sit with me. She'll either watch her tablet or do some um, writing like school learning workbooks. And I have a lot of work to do on my phone and on my computer um, every single day as far as like emails and things like that. So I get that done first. And then I've been doing a lot of flashcards with Piper and also, like I said, some workbook pages and things like that. But right now we're trying to get all of our um, letters of the alphabet and sounds of the alphabet down. She has numbers one through 10 down and she has most of her shapes down. So these are things that we want to get going for kindergarten next year. So we sit and kind of work on that a little bit as well. If it wasn't for the doctor's appointment, around now is when I would get up and get myself ready for the day and also make my bed and get things straightened up there. I also go out and um, do the dishes from breakfast and kind of clean up the kitchen a little bit and then I start on any chores that I had for the day. So this is basically what the morning looks like. I get up, I get the kids to school, I rest a little bit with Piper, do a little bit of learning and things with her and then I get up and get the day going. Um, around now is probably like 10 o'clock 
and like I said I'll start on some chores this day my only thing that I really had to do was um, to clean the couch like vacuum it up um, actually I used this new um, I'm not really sure what it's called but I heard that a vacuum can kind of ruin your couch if you do it too many times so I got this little contraption for it and it gets a lot of the dog hair and everything off so I did that and then after that um, I just wait until it's lunchtime and then I feed Bagheera his lunch and feed Piper her lunch and that's the end of our morning um, most days I have a lot more chores than that so I'll just continue doing that um, as the day goes but that's not really necessarily the morning time so I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this morning routine video it was pretty similar to what almost every day looks like I do watch my niece and my nephew some days and so our mornings aren't necessarily so slow when they come um, they usually show up right when I get home from taking Jane and Jackson to school so Piper's off playing with them and I'm up and watching them and everything so those days make it a little different and change things up for us which is fun as well so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up um, share it with a friend and we'll see you guys in our next one bye